Yeah. But Congo, this team, mentally, are they ready for the Olympics? Are they ready for that? Because it's a whole new... I mean, look, we have two billion people watching Olympics. <laughs> On, a, on any given oh, day. Wow. No pressure, gentlemen. No pressure. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two billion. Are they ready? Are they ready? I, I think uh, the team at the moment they are in good spirit. And since uh, our head coach came in, Penja, and the senior players also have come in and they are uh, dedicated to the young boys. And I think uh, we are on for the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Biko, let me ask you real quick. If you had a wish list right now, wish list for this team going forward, what will be in it? Uh, the first thing definitely would be obviously that gold medal at the Rio Olympics. And uh, I think it's very possible. Uh, and uh, the, the Kenyan fans have seen it now. I think they, 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 they have our backs once again. They believe in us. And it's humbling to see, you know. Um, we just want to take it forward. Going forward, we want to continue with that momentum. We want to go forward and show the world that we can do it again. Not once, not twice, but many times over, you know. And... Uh, it was said before, it's, I think this team, in the last tour, we said that uh, blood, sweat, and respect. Mm. The first two you give, the last one, that is respect you earn. Mm. And we've, re we've earned that respect. And kudos to all the players and, you know, the management and to everyone, to the fans as well. Yeah. I mean, this, this Olympics, I mean, it's going to be a big one. And definitely, we, we, can, we can step onto that podium and get that gold. Mm. I promise you that. Yeah. Lavin, where, you guys, you have a, a family of rugby players. Where's Larry? Is Larry in there somewhere? Yeah, Larry's Larry is somewhere in there, right? Larry. Let's get Larry in here, man. Larry. And where's Larry. Caroline? Is Caroline Motoko there? Oh, yes. Is she still here? Yes. Oh, man, we have to bring her in here. Larry, is she following family? Where's Caroline? But, but Lavin, but Larry's coming. What is it that made you guys get into this sport so emotionally? I mean, your whole family, your whole clan. Um. <laughs> Caroline, go, over here, over here. go on, go on, Larry. Sorry. Oh. Larry, you can answer, you can answer. Um, I think uh, Larry, my big bro, was uh, very influential in, in me joining rugby. Was he? Yeah, he was, because um, I remember uh, during uh, school holidays, I used to go watch him play from Wamba. Was he any good? Well, yeah, he was actually the, he was one of the best players they had. And he used to play wing and fullback. Despite his uh, physical stature at the moment, he was actually quite very, very, That's very fast. coming out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. but, but uh, he, he influenced me a lot. And I think going back to when I joined St. Mary's Yala, because, you know, I, was, I used to ask myself, why is it? Because I was the first male to go to a boarding school. All the rest were in day school. So I was asking myself, why me? Why me? But then... In that boarding school is where I met rugby. And rugby is what has brought me to the bench. Mm. Oh, my. oh my. Oh my. Oh my. And you have a younger brother. Yes, I do. Chris. Yes. Is, is he on the team? No, no, no. No, no. He was in the team. He was. He was. Yeah, He was in the team for a brief moment. Okay. Um, for three tournaments. But now he's actively participating in Mwamba. So, yeah. So, for, yeah. for, for the longest time, yeah. mom had to cook a very big ugali for, for <laughs> all of us. Lavin, are you going to Rio? Well, you see... My job is to make it as hard as possible for the coaches. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm focusing on. So as, de as de decisions go, yes. that are, I'm not, it's not in my hands. So my job is just to work on what I need to work on. If the point comes, it comes. Mm. But even, even though it goes the other way, the journey is... There's many people behind. Absolutely. Behind. Absolutely. So Caroline Motoko, a big fan of rugby. A big fan of rugby. Oh, do I get a microphone? Yes, right. you get it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rugby. Yes, you are. You keep tweeting. You keep. You're very engaged. I'm, I'm a big fan of what these guys do to put us on the map. It, you know. Yeah, it's called playing rugby. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna physically harm you on your own show. <laughs> physically harm you so let me explain this yeah my relationship with rugby probably goes back to mean machine and anybody who makes an ooh sound gets hurt by oh. me <laughs> so for me it's understanding that it, it, it it's not a glamorous sport it hurts the grass burns hello it is the pains and aches but also the fact that it takes a lot to decide that this is what you're gonna do and you're gonna do it consistently for very little money yeah. for very little appreciation yeah. to get to this point. This is a lot. Mm. This is a lot. And it's not about the sport. Looking around at these guys, Caroline, what, what, what goes through, what's going through your mind? 
Huh, first and foremost, role models, yay, finally, because I think a lot of young guys need it as I look at Sakaja. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I had to go there. I had to go there. You owe me a couple of meals. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But also, yes. um, the fact that um, sometimes I think young people quit too soon. They want it right now. And if there's nothing else we can tell is a story of how far they've come. I mean, that guy didn't have a, didn't have a beard the first time I interviewed him. <laughs> yeah, that thing needs to go. <laughs> but they didn't have that. Right. And it's just that if you stay with it long enough, if you do your 10,000 hours, it works. It, it comes to this. It mm, comes to this. Absolutely. Yes, it does. Guys, let's go around the room now. We have a few minutes left, okay? Can I give yes. away the microphone now? Oh, yes, you can, Caroline. Yeah, Thank you. Because I need my beauty sleep. Oh, well. I cannot manage to look like these guys. Oh, oh by the way, oh, the only reason the world's in love with them is that they're winners. <laughs> they're all tired. They're all tired. Microphone quickly. Hey, Shall we start I'm here? Extinguish, extinguish, extinguish. Oh, oh. Can we start with him and why he cried? Yes. Yes. I, I asked him already. He did? Yeah, I asked and, him and what did he say? Oh, he said his, his mother always believed in him. For me, oh, it was a fact that I knew for, how long have I known you? Like 10 years now? Yeah, you've acted like, we can do this, we can do this. And like eight years into it, I was like, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, I they saw him crying. It. I was like, oh, they you knew. It. Yeah, you did it. You Patience. Did it. Yes. Patience. It takes time. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Caroline. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good and night. I still love you guys. No, oh, Chris, I love you too. Yeah, yeah. Give the mic to Chris. Give the mic to, let's start with Chris. Chris, Champion. closing thoughts. Go ahead. Why, Jeff, thank you so much. I mean, we were with the president today and he was so inspiring. He's proud of the team. They have put us on the map. One Kenya, one Africa, one world. We're so proud of them. They're going to win the gold. And I'm so, so sure that this team is going far in the future. Kenya Airways, in fact, these players are the pride of Africa and we are proud of them. Thank you so much. Are you going to stay with them, Chris? We are all the way with them. We are behind them all the way. And we are flying high Kenya Airways. Excellent. Paul, your turn. Paul, Paul, Paul. Close um, thoughts. Uh, Kenya servants, uh, we stand for God, country, and for his glory. family, and self. Yes. God, country, country family, 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 and self. Beautiful. That's ah. close it all. Beautiful. Yeah. Okongo. Uh, all I can say to the fans is that uh, we are going to do everything possible to make us sure that all the boys are fit and they are able to win a medal for Olympics. So it's coming here. Absolutely. Lavin Asego. I think um, for the sacrifices that we've put and um, the family and friends who've supported us all the way, I think just uh, we thank you and we don't take it for granted. Um, the boys will do everything that we can to always uh, bring glory to the country. Uh, but uh, like Paul said, for God and for country and for self. So definitely your support is, uh, is felt greatly. <laughs> And uh, we don't take it for granted. So, cheers, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll do our best. Fantastic. Biko Dema. Uh, thank you, Jeff, I mean, for having us, first of all, uh, tonight. Uh, this is really special. I think, um, you know, we, we've, we've put the country on the map again. We're back on track. And uh, we can only go forward, you know, and uh, climb the steps and, you know, aim for greater heights. I think we're already here. And uh, let's, let's go for greater glory. I thank you. I thank you. I thank my teammates here for the inspiration that they've shown this country and uh, the young, the, the youth coming through. Let's keep. Let's keep it up. Let's go for that Rio medal. And uh, yeah. All keep right. It All right. Humphrey, Humphrey Koinange, uh, uh, Kayange. Brother. Well, you know. Yeah. Hey, no. One yeah. thing. One thing. We, we, we go way back. So <laughs> right. I, I think for me, it's just. The fact that this win has given everyone hope um, and belief that in terms of the goals that we have as a team and in terms of the goals that the country has as a unit, as a, as a, as a group and as a team, um, and why not? 